Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego City Recycling Truck set. This is set number 60386. It has 261 pieces and I paid $24 for this set. Now this set retails for $30 uh, and so 20% off would be $6 off so I got this for 20% off which seemed uh, about fair. There were, I wanted to see some of the functions of this thing, some of the builds of how they got this to look the way it did uh, and you know I'm in favor of a Lego doing whatever to support environmental causes and, and uh, other stuff like that. So I thought this was kind of an interesting concept and uh, good for a city and, and other stuff to have. So in this video, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So until then, enjoy. Okay, so while we look at the build process for this Lego City Recycling Truck set, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and then to remind you that if you haven't already, consider clicking that thumbs up and giving this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. That stuff helps me a lot and it means a lot to me, so thank you very much. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about this build. One of the first things is... Uh, this has three instruction manuals in it, and I don't know if that's because it's a five plus set or what. Uh, some city sets have instructions that have a little bit of a different uh, design than uh, other sets for older ages, but uh, I think that's okay and it doesn't bother me too, too much. But I thought that was interesting. Uh, you kind of build the uh, recycling bin on the grass, then you build kind of the cab and part of the back truck, and then you build, you know, kind of the rest of the um, kind of garbage truck recycling truck thing uh, in the last bag here and uh, I ended up really liking this uh, set so now back to the rest of the build and then on to my review for this set okay so here we have the Lego City recycling truck this is awesome this is actually really really cool I'm very happy with how this turned out and there's lots of different things to look at uh, but like we normally do we will take a look at the minifigures first so you get three minifigures in this set you get two people who are maybe uh, like waste management employees or um, uh, different people who might be uh, driving and working with the recycling truck here so we have one they have kind of a fluorescent kind of reflective uh, vest here which is nice same color pants on both of them this one has a broom some blue hands which I think is supposed to be for gloves Loves, which is a nice touch um, it has a nice kind of basic hair piece but that's true of a lot of city things no alternate face very basic uh, face printing there the back of this is uh, same reflective kind of stuff there the other one very similar uh, same torso same legs different head piece with a different head printing no alternate face has a baseball cap no hair piece this one has a shovel there are places to put these minifigure accessories uh, on the truck as well and then we have a, another person who's maybe just a civilian maybe someone who's throwing something out uh, and this is a really nice torso I like this a lot they have a little necklace with maybe a shell on it nice kind of logo there with some trees looks like it's a tank top or a sleeveless shirt nothing on the back there they are holding a printed tile which is a ticket pretty basic legs with different color there really nice hair piece and this one does have an alternate face uh, with closed eyes maybe sleeping and then uh, with more of a happy expression there so those are the three minifigures you also get this little cat which I don't know if this originated friends or city or what but nice to get a little kitten there which is very nice uh, then the first thing you build there's uh, sep three bags of pieces and there's actually three instruction booklets for this set so the first thing you build is uh, this and it's on a green kind of road plate or half road plate here so you do tile out all the edges but that does mean that this can be integrated next to a street really easily with other lego road plates here so you can see that we have an old school you know lego tree here which is nice and then we have three little sections uh, and i actually really liked how this was built so 
uh, we can look at that there and if you look at the top you can see there actually is trash cans in there but there's three different colors and those colors correspond with these stickers on the door so we have one sticker that's like a recycle sign for a bottle like a glass bottle there this one is blue it's maybe for paper and this one has an apple core in the middle so inside of the uh, stuff here we have a couple twigs, branches, different stuff like that that can go with the apple core for like natural stuff or compost. We have a printed tile that is a letter that can go in the paper. Then we have a couple of these cheese wedges, cheese slopes that uh, I think are supposed to be kind of like broken glass or glass which will go in the bottle thing. So there's a, a section for each of those which is really nice and I like how the color co colors correspond. This whole thing uses some masonry bricks on the side. If we look at the back it's very similar but no stickers on the doors but that means there is doors on the front and the back of this which is really really nice. And these can all be you know opened up I have uh, sometimes a little trouble with this but these doors all open and uh, same with the ones on the back and sometimes it's helpful to open both of them up uh, so you can get out the trash can and we can show that here so we pop out these trash cans a little finicky to get out of there uh, but maybe it's for uh, big figs with big hands like mine uh, don't uh, Aren't, don't work that well, but there we go. Pop all those out of there. So you get three colors of trash cans, which is really nice. I don't know how common this blue one is. And then we can see in there a little bit. So you can see the doors go all the way through. There is just a tile and a couple studs. So they do, they, they go in there pretty well. They don't fit out the top. So you can't really like put them in or take them out this way necessarily. Although having them like this isn't terrible. It's just not as uh, secure as it would be otherwise. And this uh, actually impressed me. I, I thought this was a really smart design. Uh, and so I really, really liked this and it's, it's a cool concept and I think it's uh, executed really well. So I'll put these all back in here and maybe I'll leave one of them out for now. And then besides that, we have this truck. Uh, and I'll point out the stickers right away because you get the three stickers for the uh, recycling images. Then we have a license plate on here, which has the set number. We have a recycling sticker on the side, same one on the other side. And then we have two more stickers that are kind of like caution stripes at the rear. So we have this uh, recycling vehicle. First thing, I love the color. It's kind of like sand blue, I think. It's a really nice, like tealish color. It's a really nice color. I love that this is six wide. I was kind of unsure of how this was going to be. I think, you know, Lego's, I think, pretty committed to having, you know, city vehicles be six wide. This one fits right on there, which is really, really great, even though it still has a ton of good size, a ton of good mass to it, visual weight, all that wonderful stuff. Um, the build is, is pretty straightforward, I would say, but there's some really cool functionality, uh, functions and, and different stuff in here. So that's really nice. From the front, we can see we got a little bumper, maybe some little steps for people to get in there. There's no doors here, but uh, these like, um, these modified plates here kind of indicate something extra there because of lights up top maybe some exhaust and as we can see through the front this is a really nice piece for the windscreen there but we have a spot for center uh, sitting kind of uh, driving so a minifigure can put in there with the steering wheel there as you can see this comes off pretty easily and closes up really really nice and then the part in between the kind of cab and the rear is, is nice. It doesn't feel like it's too big of a gap. It feels appropriate. And they did kind of fill it in with different stuff a little bit in here, which is nice. Nice use of this piece, which I, I'm used to being in like the hoods of cars or the rear of cars or something like that. You can see we have kind of the newer, or no, the older, I think, Speed Champion wheels where these are not molded together. You put the wheel on the inside part, so a little smaller. Love how these parts were put on there. Just some basic brackets, studs on the side stuff for those so you can kind of see on the bottom there. Um, moving towards the kind of back here we have the whole kind of recycling truck part and then we have the part at the end here and that's kind of where we get to the functions. There are some more caution lights up top, some different stuff so we can see what this has, uh, what can do. So we have clips on either side which is where we can put the broom and the shovel if these uh, characters were going to be driving or 
in and out of the vehicle. Those could be clipped on there, uh, which is nice. I always like when they consider that. And you can see over here, we have a couple levers. Those don't do anything, but it's a nice detail. And then on the other side, we have this little wheel here, and that actually does do something. So when you turn that wheel, we have a little kind of loading thing here, and that is because you can stud a trash can on there, and that can dump the trash into the uh, recycling truck, which is really great. And then, uh, so that's an awesome function. Besides that, I like to have this, it closes up kind of nice actually, uh, all things considered, it doesn't have to work that well, but it does, uh, which is good, fits in right in between these slopes, so it looks pretty good that way. This can be opened up, the whole thing like that, so we can get even more access to the rear. You can see that is pretty much hollow, so there are those twigs that were in there from that thing and then it has these striped tiles around here which you can see on the inside maybe some for caution or for different stuff just to make it stand out there's not really studs in here but uh, there is a little difference like a, in a tile of height between the rear and all the way through and then besides that you can tip up this whole thing which is useful to get all the garbage out of here so you could tip this up and uh get it emptied which is really nice so I think this has some great functionality it's not super fluid but for play with uh, characters who might be dragging these out of their respective spots on the grass here they can load one up they could come over they could you know one could be on one side one could be on the other side or one could be driving they could load this up drop it down put it over here load up another one drop it down I think you know realistically they would have kind of separate places where these would go into uh, for this truck and then this might be able to drive off to compost or to a recycling center or something else could back up to a place uh, like so could open this up could dump it out and uh, get those things uh, delivered to wherever their end is and I think that's uh, super super cool so really really nice uh, functionality there and uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with this it's it's got really good size it's got really good functions it feels like it looks great like this so it's a neat basic hinge kind of thing back here with a technic pin there this can stud down there's just a jumper right here and then it's just a big big plate underneath there but that can kind of stud down just a little bit and this kind of just clips on but the little uh, plate that extends out through the back kind of fits right on there this can close up like I showed or it could be driven with it down uh, and that's just a ton of functionality and I, and I think you could make the have the levers be something that uh, like correspond to that so the wheel can flip this up and maybe one of these levers on the side uh, let's see here can lift this up and maybe one of the other level levers well that would be too high for them to lift but maybe it's doing it like this and like this it's not uh, perfect but it works really really well I think there's tons of great play potential and I think this looks really nice I think the colors are spot-on uh, it rolls well it's very quiet and uh, there's tons of play I think it has a good kind of uh, it's a good thing to include in in a Lego city I think it's good to have uh, people be thinking about recycling and also just composting and and other stuff for uh, the environment which I, I think is nice and admirable uh, to have here and it's also just a great design thing like if this wasn't a recycling truck and it was just a garbage truck you know it wouldn't have the kind of green uh, messaging of it all or anything like that but it would still be a really serviceable vehicle and super important to have I think sanitation and waste management and stuff is a super undervalued job and uh, so it's nice to see them represented here and uh, so I think this is really, really cool. Love the color choices. Color blocking is good. Functionality is all good. Three colors of the trash cans there. Not a ton of stickers. Um, and they're pretty important. I don't know if any of them I would have preferred to have printed. Uh, I don't love doing the uh, like license plate in the middle of a longer... Uh, like a one by four tile I like to do them maybe on a one by two and then have something else on either side there just because it feels harder to get centered for me um, when I'm doing it like that but 
this is great. This is tons of fun. You get the little cat, three minifigures, uh, and I really, really enjoyed this uh, more than I thought I would. I was kind of putting, I was interested in this set, but I put it off for a long time until I could get a deal, and uh, so that's what I did. You can see the extra pieces here. You get an extra of those, like, plant pieces, extra of the, uh, like, slope used for the glass translucent little eye piece that's used for the lights and different stuff a lever your slopes your one by ones your tiles all of that good stuff as extra pieces this set is 261 pieces and i paid 24 dollars for this set uh the set retails for 30 dollars. and now looking at this like having this in my hand I think thirty dollars is actually kind of fair you know one of the things i judged it against maybe is like speed champions which might be 25 dollars or different things this has less pieces than those but it is bigger it has bigger uh you know plates in here it does have the kind of green road plate there some specialized pieces more minifigures the cat the tree different stuff like that um and city sets sometimes have a premium sometimes i find city sets are a good value sometimes it seems like they're very overvalued but it depends because these are like a five plus set not every city set is but this one is in particular so that means they have some specific design constraints and design philosophies that they uh, try to maintain and this uh, fits in with that really well nothing's too too challenging but it's it's a very good build and it's looks great and it functions great so i think that's terrific i think uh thirty dollars might actually be fair if this is you know 15 and you know whatever for this i don't know how much these road plates go for uh and then whatever for the figures you know i think thirty dollars actually might be kind of reasonable for this set now i paid 24 dollars, which is 20 percent off so 24 dollars. i think this is great yeah i would love this set to be 20 dollars, but then we're putting it at the same price as the retail for like the penguin slushy van or different stuff like that and i think this is pretty clearly more uh substance than those um or like the family camper van which again retails for like 20 but you can oftentimes get it for down to like 16 so if we're going at retail and then looking at like the 20 percent off or a greater discount i think you know this is pretty much right where it needs to be uh and it doesn't feel like crazy overpriced at 30 dollars, even though you know 25 is better 20 is better i just don't think that fits in with their other products in this line and so i was super happy to get this i, I think this is a really great set and uh i love that they you know maintained the six wide i was really interested in how they were doing that i love how they got this rounded side here that's kind of recessed in to make it look like uh it's a little round i think you know the top of this having this one big plate with all these studs up here is maybe a little uninspired but i i think it works and it, it does just feel like lego um which is is a kind of a refreshing thing once in a while the cab design is really smart this little space here is not a big deal and it just feels like it's a great toy and uh, an awesome thing to have in a lego city and an awesome thing for people to play with and to learn about adult different stuff so it can be a teaching moment and there's just really good stuff here i mean i think normally like side builds i'm a little critical of uh this one is is pretty good in my opinion uh it integrates well with the rest of this nice to get that green half road plate nice to get all the different color uh, trash cans or recycling bins three minifigures are nothing special but uh you know you get three of them which is really nice you have you know two workers and somebody else and maybe this person was going to throw the ticket in the glass or throw the ticket in the compost one or you know something and these people can help her out and or help them out and say you know that one can go in the the middle one the blue one because it's a uh, paper um and we can recycle that a little differently and i think that's a wonderful teaching moment so uh really really nice not too many stickers and i think this is a great good value set uh, i had a lot of fun building it a lot of fun talking about it so uh big thumbs up for me i haven't looked at a city set in a little bit of time here and uh this is really great but um i don't know if i would have bought it at 30 dollars. but now that i have it it seems like that kind of makes sense uh i'm still happy that i got a deal um but uh there is definitely lego here and uh so i i really like that and I'm, I'm very impressed with the functionality for some of these things you know a five plus set it does a lot more than i think um it needed to but i'm so grateful that it did i think it's a really really smart design and, and well executed so uh really great i like it 
If you like this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up and giving it a like. And if you like my other videos here, click on that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the LEGO videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more LEGO City, more vehicles, tons of other stuff from all different themes, all different sets from all shapes, sizes, price points, and piece counts, different age ranges, tons of different stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you want to support this channel and support my videos here, you can do that right here on YouTube with memberships and supers and thanks and all that wonderful YouTube stuff. And I still have the Patreon, which is in the video description on my channel page, patreon.com slash sobricks. You can get access to all my videos early, get access to some exclusive stuff, uh, and it helps show support. I'm not affiliated with any company. I'm not... Uh, you know, in the Lego Ambassador Network or anything right now. And uh, so I do pay for everything with my own money. And uh, so every little bit helps. And I'm just very, very grateful to be able to share this. So thank you very much. And with all that said, until next time, thanks. Bye.